On 12 August 1942, USS Wolverine was commissioned following extensive conversion at Buffalo, New York. Wolverine was a training aircraft carrier used on Lake Michigan during World War II. The boat started life in 1912 as the C&B, a side-wheel paddle steamship used as an elegant cruise ship. Smokestacks were rerouted to the right side of the new flat-top deck, and arresting cables were fitted. Wolverine did not have a hangar deck, elevators, or armaments. Aircraft flew from shore runways to practice landings and takeoffs with this training carrier. Another cruise paddle wheeler became the USS Sable, and the two freshwater aircraft carriers are credited with training thousands of pilots and some landing signal officers during the war. On calm days, Wolverine could not attain sufficient speed to produce the wind over deck required for some warplanes to conduct carrier operations. Flight offs sometimes halted or reverted to SNJ Texans during the calm periods.
Wolverine was decommissioned in 1945 and sold for scrap two years later. More than 120 aircraft losses were recorded from the aircraft carriers in Lake Michigan. This included 38 SBD Dauntless Dive Bombers, 41 Avengers, 37 Wildcats, 4 Hellcats, 17 SNJ Texans, 2 Vought Vindicators, and 3 TDN drones. The Navy lists 8 pilots killed during training on the Wolverine and Sable. About 25 Navy carrier aircraft involved in water landings on Lake Michigan have been recovered, with many masterfully restored for museum displays, and at least two F-4F Wildcats brought back to flight status. The appearance of an invasive species of mussel in Lake Michigan threatens to accelerate the deterioration of still-submerged aircraft wrecks. I'm Fred Johnson, and you are watching the Aerial Images channel. Thank you, and thanks especially for subscribing to the Aerial Images channel. We appreciate it.